Did you know Cleopatra wasn't Egyptian? Yes, the last active ruler of Egypt was of Greek origin. Interesting, yes, but that's just the beginning. Her life was like no other as you are about to find out. Born in the heart of the Ptolemaic dynasty, a Greek family that seized control of Egypt after Alexander the Great's death, Cleopatra was steeped in a unique blend of cultures from a young age. She was not your typical Greek maiden, nor was she a traditional Egyptian princess. This enigmatic figure was a product of both worlds, and yet she belonged to neither. Cleopatra was a woman of intelligence and charm, and it was these qualities, coupled with her royal lineage, that led to her ascension to the throne. At the tender age of 18, Cleopatra found herself in the unenviable position of ruling a kingdom teetering on the brink of collapse. A daunting task for anyone, let alone a young woman. By the time she turned 18, Cleopatra was a queen, ruling a kingdom on the brink of collapse. But how did she handle it? Stay tuned. Ruling a kingdom in turmoil is no easy task, even more so for a young woman. But Cleopatra, she was no ordinary woman. Ascending to the throne at the tender age of 18, she was thrust into a world of politics and power plays. Cleopatra was a shrewd diplomat using her wit and charm to secure alliances with two of the most powerful men of her time, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Her relationship with Caesar was not just political, but personal, and together, they had a son. After Caesar's assassination, she aligned herself with Mark Antony, further solidifying her position. But Cleopatra was more than just a political player. She was highly intelligent, one of the few in her dynasty to actually speak Egyptian, the language of her people. Cleopatra, a ruler, a diplomat, a lover and a mother, was a woman wearing many hats. But what led to her downfall? The rise is exhilarating, but every rise has a fall. And so did Cleopatra's. The final act of Cleopatra's dramatic life story begins with conflict. A war with Octavian, a Roman statesman, marked the beginning of her end. This battle was not just for power, but a fight for her kingdom, her people, and her legacy. Cleopatra and her lover, Mark Antony, faced Octavian's forces in a fierce naval battle at Actium, but their defeat was inevitable. This loss was a heavy blow, leading to Mark Antony's self-passing and leaving Cleopatra in despair. Left with no other choice, Cleopatra too took her existence, marking an end to the Ptolemaic rule in Egypt. Her end, however tragic, did not diminish her legacy. Cleopatra remains an iconic figure in history, remembered for her intelligence, her beauty, and her undying will to protect her kingdom. Cleopatra, a name that echoes through history, a woman of power, intelligence, and beauty. Her life was a saga of triumph and tragedy, a tale that continues to captivate us even today. If you enjoyed this story, please tap the like button, subscribe to Eric Elliott, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.